Warning, the following video contains copyrighted material. Though I did not create the characters, I will do my best to fall under fair use. This video falls under fair use. I do not own these assets. And without further ado, enjoy the video. Hello there and welcome back. As you can see, I'm a cartoon. And if you can't see, then how'd you get on YouTube? <laughs> but regardless, I would be lying if I said cartoons didn't have an influence on my life. But I really started getting into them in high school, and then the whole world opened up to me. My mom never let me and my siblings watch shows on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. In hindsight, I'm kind of glad that she did, because there are some of those shows on those programs that are some of the worst scum known to man. But... As such, I never really got to experience some of the better shows, especially in the late 2000s. What? Oh no. No! No! Go away! No! I'm not like that! No! Okay, so don't really call myself a brony per se. I just, you know, use the characters in the show as references, you know. For my character. If anything, if that show didn't exist, the video you're seeing wouldn't exist. I'm not saying that Mario Pony is a bad show per se, I just think that it's overhyped to the nth degree and people give it way, way too much credit than it actually deserves, right? I mean, I like some of the fantasy aspect, the jokes are funny, but like other than that, it's just another, you know, cartoon. <laughs> Boy, Star Wars, yeah, man. It's, uh, I like Star Wars, you know, I really do, but it's kind of a shame that the recent movies had to, you know, freaking suck. Wait, can I say freaking? One sec, um, I have the terms of service right here, so. Aha, here it is, okay. Any channel can be eligible for demonetized. Oh, wait, I don't need to worry about demonetization. I'm not even getting paid for this. Ah, <laughs> uh, silly me. Anyway, I really like Star Wars, right? The movies were good. The first trilogy was pretty solid, in my opinion. The prequels, they have worth on their own for me and potential alone. And the sequels, I mean, uh, they're sure there. It's just, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the sequels. But regardless, I'd be lying if I was saying that Star Wars wasn't, you know, important to me. I vividly remember my dad coming home from work one day with the full season of Star Wars The Clone Wars on Blu-ray. And I remember watching it and it was so cool. It was the first time I was being introduced to these characters and it was so cool to see them fight epic space battles. I guess what I'm trying to say is that cartoons have always played a big role in my life. And the more I watch cartoons, the more I appreciate what goes into them. There's a lot of time and care and effort that goes into something as complex as Star Wars is something as universally simple as Spongebob. But what really gets me, I guess, interested is the amount of passion and the amount of dedication that it takes to create these works of art. Animation is not a simple process by any stretch of the imagination. It can take months, sometimes even years, for a single animation to come out. So for, to see people put so much love into something that is to something that is really going to be appreciated by children, and then they try to put their best effort into it, it's admirable. It helps me kind of work through my own things. It helps me figure out my strengths and weaknesses in and it allows me to motivate myself to put my best foot forward in whatever I'm doing. Whether it's my minimum wage job or something as big and grandiose as my Eagle Scout project. I always want to put my best foot forward because that's what made those cartoons so great. That's what made all of these iconic characters so memorable. It's because people took the time and the effort out of their days to make them. And to me... That's really admirable. Well, hey, if you're still here, please consider subscribing. Approximately 99.99999% of you aren't subscribed. My next video will probably be something like this, but probably more in line with video games. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a new year. 2020 was... twenty. Let's just say a non-advertiser-friendly word for 2020, even though I am not getting paid for this. Uh, so yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Be nice and stay safe out there, friends.